think that a white supremacist would not think of him as a threat. He did not come to interfere with the politics of white society. He did not come to try to even integrate into white neighborhoods. None of that assimilationist rhetoric was coming from Marcus Garvey. He wanted African people to understand that our destiny was not to be subservient to someone else in their system, but was to have power. Garvey is a West Indian Negro, and in addition to his activities in endeavoring to establish the Black Star Line Steamship Cor Corporation, he has also been particularly active among the radical elements in New York City in agitating the Negro movement. Unfortunately, however, he has not yet violated any federal law whereby he could be proceeded against on the grounds of being an undesirable alien. The question is for you, why did they feel that way? What about us going to Africa? What about us going, getting away from America? What about that was such a threat?